Hello, welcome to another video of Full Stack Automation with Ruby. My name is Rich Downey. Um, in the prior video, I showed you how I was able to spin up um, my FSR Rails app here uh, in localhost 3000 into a Docker container running at 3044, port 3044. Um, so we won't do this again. We can get rid of the 3000. And the idea being, I'd like to simultaneously spin up uh, the same app in these different ports uh, and different Docker containers. So we have 3044, 3045, 46, 47, 48. Um, to do that, I am going to use this rake task that I wrote um, under namespace build and containers task. So this will spin up multiple containers of the SR Docker app. And how that works is I start out with an empty array called threads and a ports array with the different port numbers that we want to run in. Um, and then we just loop through each one of those ports and we start a new thread, a new Ruby thread. So in that thread, it's just going to kick off the system command that we saw in the prior video, docker run port whichever number comes in and then we'll just name it uniquely because docker container needs a unique name so we'll just use the port number there again and the image that we pull from and then we'll just print out everything so we know it's running so um yeah none of these are up and running so let's look at some of the docker bits uh, we have our image so we don't have to download that again and currently you don't have any containers so um, I guess we'll just run this then. So rake build containers. And let that start up. We should see the server starting here in a second. Um, I'll actually jump down here and we'll see the containers are created and they've been running or 11 seconds ago. Um, so now we start to see the Pumas running, uh, one, two, three, four, five, our array has five different ports. So that looks good. And when we refresh, uh, these browsers, we see the app running in multiple instances. So that's how we spin up the app in multiple containers. Um, and then once this is done, you should see the Docker containers are now ended and we can just clean those up and the apps are all gone. So that's it. Thanks for watching.